we have decided to tackle a small little project this week and that is putting solar onto our RV. This is something that we have wanted to do um, since we got the RV, but we decided to hold off on it a little bit. Uh, but actually, a couple weeks ago, our generator stopped working. We've been working on getting that repaired, but it kind of made us decide to go ahead and like jump on solar now. So um, there are no shops anywhere near us that sell any of the stuff we need, so we did have to order it online. So right now we are going to UPS and an Amazon locker to pick up everything we need to start this project. So while we are upgrading with the solar package, uh, we're also going to upgrade our battery situation. Uh, this time we're going to do two 12 volt batteries wired in parallel. Uh, so I'm at the store right now to pick those up. Well, I picked up two 12 volt batteries here. Uh, these are deep cycle batteries. Uh, they're rated at 80 amp hours each. So combining them will give me 160 amp hours. Currently we have just one 12 volt battery in here. This is the battery that came with the RV when we purchased it. Um, it seems like it may be a cheaper kind of battery, so we're going to upgrade to two now and that should give us a lot more power. that I'm first going to take a jumper and connect both the positives. Once I got the positive connected, I'm going to connect the negative. So now that I've got the batteries connected, I'm going to connect it to the RV. And to do that, I actually want to take the positive and I'm going to put it on the back battery and I'm gonna put the negative for the ground on the front battery. So that way they both act as one battery and one doesn't drain at a different rate than the other one does. All right. Batteries are connected. Moment of truth, I'm gonna turn on the battery. What are you gonna try? Hey. Seems to be working. The solar panel that we chose to start this project with is a Renogy 100 watt solar panel. We actually ordered the entire starter kit. So it also came with this uh, charge controller and everything we need to hook up the solar panel and mount it to the roof, which we are planning on doing. Um, what we really liked about this solar panel is one, that it's affordable. Uh, this entire kit was like 160 or 170. And also it's like easily billable. So we know we'll eventually want more than just one solar panel. This was just to start to keep our battery charged, but when we're ready to add on more, Renergy has a lot of options to let that happen. Before I start drilling holes in the roof and things like that, uh, I'm going to just hook up this controller and panel to test it, make sure it all works. So it's important that you hook up the controller to the battery first. I've seen some people hook the panel to the controller before that, and you're definitely not supposed to do that. So I've got these hooked in. I'm just going to wire it the same way I did to the RV. I've got the positive coming out of the back battery and the negative coming out of the front. That way the act is one. And then I actually want to go to the controller and then set the type of battery. So these two batteries are flooded batteries and color coded, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Now I'm going to see if it goes to the panel. I'm going to add it to the controller. And start with negative. It's all hooked up, and you can see by this flashing light here that indicates that it is charging normally. So now, I'm going to start by drilling a hole through the floor because the controller goes first. And I'm going to put that up through and put it underneath the couch. And then we're going to run wires up to the roof and put the panel up through. Okay. 
Now it's time to drill a hole in the floor. Okay, so I just drilled this hole through the floor, uh, which is directly above our battery bank. And I had to make it big enough to get all these wires through. Um, I got two here for the charge controller. And these other cables here are actually going to be for our inverter, which I'm going to install after I finish the solar. I went ahead and made a hole for this um, controller for the inverter to turn it on and off. That way we don't have to lift up the lid. Uh, installed on the outside of this. And now I'm going to drill a hole into the ceiling. Uh, that way we can run wires from the solar panel down and into the charger. I started drilling and it seems like I might have hit some kind of metal beam here. So I'm going to relocate to the other spot that I measured over here. So let's try that. Round two. Yeah, what's up there? Put the solar panel on. All right. Let's do it, I guess. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> We're up on the roof. We're about to put all these wires through to connect it to the controller. Um, I think this is the location we're choosing for the panel. And to put the wires through, I'm actually using a small conduit box. That way I can really seal it up to make sure no water gets in. And I'm about to seal it right now with some uh, sealant. And then we'll see how it goes. So I've got everything all mounted and sealed. I ran the wires down through here and they're hooked up to the controller, which I have screwed into the wall. You can see that it is charging currently. And these wires that came down through the ceiling, I used one of these wire covers from Lowe's just to snap it in and cover it up to make it look not so ugly. And I'm also going to cover up the top ones as well. The solar is all hooked up. Um, you can see it's charging. So if you want to just have the solar panel charging your battery, that's, that's it. That's all you need to do. But we are actually going to add an inverter as well. That way we can run some power uh, from our batteries and the solar panel at the same time. And I'm going to hook that up now. For anyone wondering, here is a diagram of how I have everything wired in. I've hooked up the cables for the inverter and now I'm going to try to turn it on, see what happens. We are charging. Yeah. I'm charging a few things off the inverter right now. So with this LCD screen, you can see a couple things. Right now it's showing the input voltage. It's reading 12.4 volts coming into it. If I hit the menu button, it'll say the output wattage, which it's saying 21 watts. We're excited to test it out over the next few days and see what happens. So we have tested um, iPad, laptop, phones, all work really well with the inverter. I tested my blender yesterday, it worked. The toaster. <laughs> this is like pushing the watt limit, so I'm kind of scared, but <laughs> it's buzzing. <laughs> is that supposed to happen? So we did just like look under there, and it's only pulling about like 680 watts, which we have an 1100 watt inverter, so we can use the toaster. <laughs> <laughs> We have toast.
<laughs> Solar powered, battery powered toast. <laughs> Green energy toast. So we've had this new solar set up for a couple of days now and it's going extremely well. I wanted to talk a little bit about the investment we had. We spent around $500 total for this project. Um, I'll link all the products below so if you're interested in them you can check those out. We do just have the one 100 watt solar panel on for now. We might upgrade in the future but we just kind of wanted to start small and build our way up. Yeah. And it's really been working extremely well for all of our needs. Yeah, we've been charging everything like uh, our laptops, our phones, the Jackery, everything. Mm -hmm. And it, it hasn't even really faced it, it seems like. Yeah, we've used you know, the toaster and the blender. Um, we run a fan sometimes on it. And that's all been like going really smoothly. And our battery's really not dropped below like two thirds now. Yeah. So we have a lot longer battery life <laughs> than what we had before. Um, we are in a really high sun area right now, so we're getting a lot of good sun on that panel. We are like kind of near Moab, so we're in the desert. Um, you know, curious to see how it's different in different places. But overall, super happy with this project, how it turned out, and definitely would recommend doing this for any setup. It was pretty simple. Um, the entire project took us less than two days. So yeah, 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 and it's it's been going great. I feel like we have unlimited power. <laughs> <laughs> totally game. Uh, game Changer. But thank you guys as always. If you have any questions for us, just leave them below. We're happy to help and we'll see you next time.